Hey everybody, the bees are busy out here. We're in my backyard. It's probably low to mid 50s out here. Uh, they're flying everywhere. So I think it's a good day to check in on these bees, see how they're doing. We're gonna do that. And then we're also gonna uh, treat for mites with oxalic acid vapor. Uh, this colony right here is actually a late summer split I made. And uh, it's kind of a young colony. They are active and busy. Uh, I don't imagine the population is really huge in here. This colony has been really busy. I'm sure it's really growing in there. Uh, curious to see how they're doing. They're bringing in a lot of bright yellow pollen. Not sure where they're getting it. Uh, maybe they're getting it from some wild mustard somewhere around here. This is my Apamaya hive. It's the busiest I've seen it in a while. Uh, put this in here last year and uh, they did okay. Didn't do super great, but it looks like they're really growing in there. These are the survivor bees. I did a video on this almost a year ago uh, with Rusty from herding bees with Rusty and Mike. Uh, there were two colonies in an old abandoned house way out in the country. Uh, he took one of them and I took these and they seem to be doing well. This colony right here is the one that I want to break into for the video. Late in the season last year, I made a split. I took the split down to the other end the first one I showed you just now, and I put a bee weaver queen in here. Supposedly those bee weaver queens are really good, super hygienic, untreated, tough bees, uh, really ideal, and so we're gonna see. Some of these bees are almost jet black. It's kind of amazing to watch, but if you look at them, they're working hard, pollen on their legs. I'm definitely gonna suit up for these bees because I think they're probably gonna be just a little bit feisty. All right, let's see what we have in this colony here with the bee weaver queen. Oh my goodness. They are packing in honey from somewhere. This hive is a deep and a medium. Some of it looks like good white wax, like they're getting some honey from somewhere. It's possible, I guess, the maple is blooming. I have fed these bees a little bit, but not as much as I fed my other bees out in the out yards. Yeah, it's got nectar in there. I'm going to try to spread these frames out a little bit and see if we have brood in the middle. The reality is when you're going through colonies any time of the year, but especially this time of the year, really if you see brood, you see eggs. I don't know how well you can see that. We have a little bit of pollen right there, but if you see brood, you see eggs, that's really all you have to see. You don't have to find the queen. That's an entire frame of honey right there. I really think this second box is mostly honey. And one thing I've heard about the bee weaver queens is they're feisty. And I found that to be a little bit true, but they don't seem to be super aggressive, like really trying to attack me and sting me so much. They just are, are very active and, and flying around. Okay, so right here we have these bullet shaped cells, our drone cells. These fighter ones here are regular brood. So we got a little bit of both there. Same story on the other side. Oh, look at that sheet of brood right there. That is beautiful right there. That is awesome. Same thing on that side. We're looking good. When it comes to getting in hives, really if the bees are flying actively like they are today, I feel like it's okay to get in them now. You don't just want to spend a whole lot of time in here, really, ever. I'm going to take this box off, and I just am curious to see what's going on in that bottom box. <clears throat> we do have a lot of bees. Hoping to see some good brood down here. Nothing much over here on these two. There are some beetles right here. That's just a frame of... I'm not sure what that is. Well, the frame came apart actually. I might need to replace that frame. Yeah, I'm just going to replace that old thing. I guess I put it in there planning on them drawing it out and they didn't. Not much going on here on these outside three frames. So they got a little room to grow. Got some nectar all in here. I never have liked that old yellow foundation very well. I could just run some more wax on it. I probably should. That's what I used to buy. Now I get the Pierco Triple Wax. And there are people who say that the bees don't like plastic, but look at these next couple of frames. 
All right. Look at that frame of brood right there. That looks really good. Now they're getting a little agitated. They're not jumping on me trying to sting me. Look at that beautiful frame of brood. That is impressive right there. Got eggs right there in, the, in that center section right here. This colony is going to absolutely explode. Looking good. Looking good. So the bee weaver queens that I've seen seem to be a little small. Now I'm not sure if they still are. The ones I saw last week when going through, some of my colonies were pretty small. And bee weaver clips their wings, so that's one way to identify them as well. So I don't know that I'm going to see her. Don't really care. Um, lots of little bees with pollen on their legs. Not sure if you can tell. Lots and lots of brood in this bottom box, which is awesome. And we also have a lot of food in the top box, which is also awesome. Because that means they've got everything they need. A lot of these bees are older. They're shiny. They don't have much hair. So the winter bees are, you know, they're probably won't be around much longer, but they have really got this colony shape in good shape for the year moving forward. Still haven't seen the queen. And I think the next frame over also has a fair amount of brood. So that's all I need to see, more than I need to see really. i close it up. I'm actually gonna see if I can find a box over in the shed. I don't know that I have any. Yeah, they're pretty uh, agitated. Not sure how well you can hear them on the uh, mic but they are not super excited about me being here well i found another frame empty frame from pierco might be a little early to do this but there are plenty of bees to cover the brood and they seem to be bringing some stuff in i'm not sure what it is so i'm just going to slide this right here maybe they'll start building that out a little better give them something to do anyway and that's just replacing that defective frame over there let me get this thing closed up and we're going to give them some time. Now there is a rule of thumb that I've heard in the past that one frame of brood equals two frames of bees. So we got a good solid probably six frames of brood right here, which is going to be 12 frames of bees when they emerge. Um, not going to be enough room in this box for long. However, a lot of these bees in this hive are old winter bees that are going to be dying soon anyway. So we're about to have us a fresh crop of nice bees uh, getting ready for the spring honey flow. They're in good shape. Let's check on this Apamaya hive. I haven't checked on it in a good long while. I ordered this thing last year because I thought they were cool. And I think still think it's cool, but don't know that it's worth the price. They're very expensive. Here are the feeders. They're designed so you can flip these around the bees have them glued together good grief okay so the bees can come up through here if you're feeding dry food you flip it around like this it creates a space right here if you're feeding syrup you leave it like this it just makes a ladder for them to come down on but i've never used these to feed the bees with actually i don't think the bees have been pretty strong the whole time they uh Design them definitely with the bees and the beekeeper in mind. Now I am seeing a fair number of bees in here. Not a ton, but this it's got quite a few bees in it. I'm seeing some honey down through here. So they've got some food it looks like. It is a double deep, so they got plenty of space, maybe even a little too much, but they've done well with it, I think. Until today I haven't noticed a ton of activity in this hive, and so I've been a little worried about them. There's been some. They've just been kind of chilling out in the hive for the most part. Good grief, they got it glued down. Man, that is a frame of honey right there. So I'm going to go over here, a couple frames, just see if I see some brood. If I see brood on one of these frames, and if I see what looks like a lot of bees in the bottom box, I might just close it up. Yeah, we got us a fair number of bees. Let me see if I see some eggs. Yeah, there's a few eggs in there. There's the queen. Not sure if you can see her. She's right here in the middle. Right here. There's the queen right there. 
So I know I've got a queen. I've seen some eggs. Make sure I don't smash. We're going to put her in here real easy. Leave plenty of space between this side of the frame where she is and this one. And then we're going to move it over against that one. I do see some brood on this frame. Nice brood pattern. And we also have some on this one. I also have some food. I think I'm just going to leave these bees alone. Yeah, we got brood here too. So I don't think I need to go in the bottom box. Looks like there's plenty of bees down there. Just going to let them blow this thing out, fill it up with bees. Probably pull a split out of it here in a few weeks and uh, be off to the races for honey season. What I like to do is start towards the edge, pull the frame out, that creates space so I have room to work. But when I, like you noticed, I put the queen in there, I think she was on, I think she may have been on this frame on this side right here. So I put her into space, moved her over against the next frame. So now all I have to do to keep from risking her getting smashed in the corners is I can slide those four frames together. Like that. It, sometimes you use your hive tool and kind of pry them over too like this. Uh, theoretically you could reverse the boxes, but I'm just going to let them go, see what happens. See how these feeders are designed? The bees can go up through these little openings right here. I really like them. I, I thought when I bought this up in my hive last year, I would. my goal would be to have, if they really do well, to kind of just for looks, if nothing else, to kind of be a little fancy here in my backyard. I might order, you know, get four or five of them back here and just have just up in my hives back here. But I just don't know if I can justify the cost when I'm trying to grow my numbers for other purposes. So who knows? We'll see. I do like these handles on the side too. You can just pick it up. It holds the boxes down really well. And then if you want to carry the hive somewhere, you can. Pretty neat. We got that done. This one right over here. Uh, the very first one we looked at a while ago. Just has a couple frames of bees. I think they're going to be okay. We put some food on them. The next one in my yard there, that one was super strong. It was a single deep and I added a box to it. They're doing really well. Lots of brood. The up in my hive, it's pretty good. Uh, not super strong, but not super weak either. We just kind of left it alone. Survivor bees. They were pretty weak, so we took the top box off of them, the green box, and put it on this one on the end that we looked at a while ago, right there. Uh, just made it a double deep with a medium on top. I think they're going to be fine. Overall looking okay. Y'all take care and be safe.